Good evening YTPC, North East Paper UK here. Um, the other day, Uncle Phil, Cass Paper Cassidy, Pranson Paper and myself, we did a little review on some tobaccos that Phil was very lucky to be gifted from Watch City Cigars. Um, which is this is the Watch City Slices and he very kindly broke it up and sent it out to the three of us to try and we sort of did a zoom meet with the four of us to review this tobacco and this is the first one that we've smoked and um, if you haven't seen Uncle Phil's original video I'll pop a link in the description below so you can sort of see the four of us and get our take on it but I thought I would just do a one on my own and come back to it to see what um, if I had any more thoughts about it and see if I might have maybe changed my mind or whatever. Um, it's a Burley based tobacco, Burley, Virginia. Um, it says that it's got a rum topping on it, which I know that when I opened the bag the other day, you could smell the topping on it. But what I liked about it was that it didn't really come through in the smoke and pretty much that's about as far as the rum got was just in the tin note which again I thought was quite nice and um, it's a very interesting smoke as you're smoking it and um, I've gotten a little bit of a bite off it tonight but I have sort of been going at it a little bit to, to keep it going and um, but as the bowl went through got the, the walnut taste, it's got a wonderful retro hail, it's not harsh, it's not a sort of a nose burner, it doesn't make your eyes water and um, you get the sweetness of the Virginias come through as well as you get so far through it, it's, it's almost like a layer of a cake as you're going down the bowl you're getting different tastes and things coming through which I really did enjoy, I was very apprehensive about trying it, it's a whole new Tobacco to me, obviously, I'm used to use like Cornell and Deal, GLPs, etc. So, with it being a, a whole new virgin territory for me, I was like, well, what if I don't like it? And But no, this one's right off the bat quite nice. I'm getting to using matches because obviously Cass keeps telling us off that I use a flamethrower to light my pipe. So I've decided to go back to matches. But yeah, the room note on this as well. I know when I finished the video the other night, I went out and I was getting things sorted out to put away. When I came back through to pick up the camera stand, oh, was a really nice aroma left in the room very pleasant so again if you're sort of in a room with people who aren't really too fond of pipes I think you might get away with this one Again, because it does remind us of other tobaccos that I've smoked, one of the things that I did point out the other night was that this probably isn't a one that I would order. I wouldn't want to risk it getting caught in customs and getting charged when there's other sort of English variants that I can quite easily pick up in this country that's very similar. Um, but having said that, I'm really looking forward to trying the others in the range and I do think, personally, of what's going on, I probably would order some of the others because uh, there's some nice, nice looking ones in there. The only gripe that I have about this really 
is that it's obviously classed as a slice, but as soon as I tried to get it out of the bag the other day, it just broke up and it's just turned to dust. I know there's a, a lot of hassle. People really don't like this sort of crumbled confetti cup type thing that's going on with um, some of the, of the tobacco or blenders. But again, you're going to have to rub it out to put it in your pipe anyway, so is it really that much of a an issue? Um, this personally, they probably would have just gotten away of just putting it in there and not bothering to class it as a slice of a cake or whatever. Probably just being better off just putting it out there as a, a normal ready rubbed confetti cut, whatever you want to call it, and save the hassle. Because again, like you say, you're looking forward to taking out a nice slice out the tin and it's just it just falls apart and it's, I think that's what aggravates people more than anything else. But uh, other than that, I've got no issues with this. I am getting a bit of a bite tonight that I didn't the other night. But again, I took it really slow then. So I'm smoking it a little bit faster. And um, so the, the tongue bite is probably more my fault than anything else. But that sweetness of those Virginias is really coming through. Like I say, as I got sort of halfway down the bowl, it really opened up. And again, that acidic, walnut taste i love it really really is very pleasant and i've got no nicotine here from it either Got a nice little tickle on the tongue. I think the good thing for me now is that because I've been smoking for a couple of years now, my palate's definitely opening up and certainly more towards this type of tobacco. I think if I'd smoked this when I first started because I was really into the aromatics, etc., I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much, but I really can appreciate it more now. So, yeah. I think I gave this a 3.5 the other night and um, yeah I'll probably stick with that more so because there is an English variant it's very similar to something I've smoked before and it's just bugging the life out of us I kind of think what it reminds us of Again, Phil, thank you for sending this on to us. And like I say, a great idea to do the, the Zoom meet of the four of us smoking the same blend at the same time. So yes, got off to a good start. Other thing as well is, it goes great with coffee. Mm. But I think if you're going for something alcoholic, because there's no lot of key in that, 
I think a nice tasty peaty malt would really open this up. I think this is a one that I could smoke any time of the day. It could be your first bowl, after dinner, evening smoke. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot going for it. Well, on that note, I want to leave it there. Like I said, if you haven't seen the original video with the four of us, I'll put it in the link, uh, link of it in the bucket below. There's No Holds Barred, which is four guys smoking a pipe, having a laugh, and shooting the shit, basically. Well, thank you for watching. Happy hump day. I hope you've had a great day. As always, I hope wherever you are, you're safe, you're well, and you're happy, you're enjoying a bowl. If you have smoked this, please let me know what your thoughts are. Again, it's a whole new range of tobaccos that I've never smoked before. And um, I've got quite a few there to go through. Really looking forward to trying more. And um, if the rest of anything go by with this one, then I think we're definitely on to a winner. So I will see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.